welcome back to another video brought to you by Advanced Excel Training. We're going through everything you need to know for the MRS Excel Expert Exam. Remember to hit the like button and to subscribe for more Excel Training videos. In this video, we'll learn how to merge multiple worksheets using the Consolidate function. Many companies create generic worksheets for each department or division to fill out and then to return. Once the worksheets are distributed and filled out, the tricky part comes in when they need to combine the data into a summary report. The process of combining multiple sources of information into one single report is called consolidation. This process is often complicated and time consuming, especially with larger worksheets. Fortunately, Excel has a powerful feature that can automatically consolidate worksheets for you. Excel can consolidate your data using two methods. The first is to consolidate by position. The second is to consolidate by category. Consolidating by position uses the same range coordinates in each worksheet. You can use this method if the worksheets you are consolidating have identical layouts. Consolidating by category is when Excel looks for identical row and column labels in each sheet. For example, if one worksheet lists monthly sales as Cape Town, Johannesburg, London, and the other lists monthly sales as New York, Johannesburg, London, and Cape Town, the labels are not in the same order. However, you can consolidate the information as long as both sheets have the same labels. In both cases, you specify one or more source ranges and a destination range. If the sheets you're working with have the same layout, Consolidating by position is the easiest way to go. For example, consider the worksheets New York, London and Cape Town sales. Each sheet uses the same layout and can be consolidated by position. To consolidate by position, create a consolidation worksheet with the same layout as the sheets you are consolidating. In the new worksheet, click the upper left corner of your destination range. On the Data tab in the Data Tools group, Click Consolidate to open the Consolidate dialog box. In the Functions list, click the operation to use during the consolidation. This could be Sum, Count, Average, Max or even Min. For each source range not including the row or column labels, enter the range coordinates in the reference box and then click Add. If the source date is open in another worksheet or workbook, you can click the range box and then select the data. You can reference multiple worksheets to be consolidated. If you want the consolidated data to change whenever you change your source data, make sure that the Create Links to Source Data checkbox is selected. Then click OK. Excel will then gather the data consolidated and add it to a destination range. If you want to consolidate data from worksheets that do not use the same layout, you need to tell Excel to consolidate the data by category. Excel will then examine each of the source ranges and consolidate the data using the identical row or column labels. To consolidate by category, create or select a consolidation worksheet and then click the upper left corner of the destination range. On the Data tab in the Data Tools group, Click Consolidate to open the Consolidate dialog box. In the Functions list, click the operation to use during the consolidation. For each source range, including the row and column labels, enter the range coordinates in the reference box and then click Add. If the source data is open in another worksheet or workbook, you can click the range box and then select the data. You can do this for multiple worksheets. If you want Excel to use the data labels in the top row of the selected ranges, under Use Labels In, select Top Row. If you want to use the data labels in the left column of the source ranges, select Left Column. If you want the consolidated data to change whenever you make changes to the source data, make sure that the Create Links to Source Data checkbox is selected. Then click OK. Excel will then gather the data, consolidate it, and add it to your destination range. 
now you can easily build reports using multiple sources quickly and efficiently. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more awesome Excel training videos. In the next video, we'll learn how to use a what if analysis tool called GoalSeek. Thank you for watching another video brought to you by Advanced Excel Training. I look forward to hosting you in the next video. I'm Deborah Gray. Until next time, happy Advanced Excel Training.